Hey, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are on Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 2, Episode 19, the follow-up to the Zillow Beast episode. Uh, this one's called The Zillow Beast Strikes Back. Yeah, we left off last episode. They were escorting the Zillow Beast by... I, w I wanted to say helicopter for a second there, but by spaceship. Are they gonna go... They're just gonna go through space with the Zillow Beast, just carrying it? Like... I'm like he could like break off and then start floating off in space to another planet or something but they're escorting him currently to Coruscant one of the most populated planets by the way uh, I don't know why Palpatine or he's not Palpatine yet but is he still called Palpatine yeah that's probably his last name um anyways he wants the Zillow Beast in Coruscant to study it and stuff so that's where they're bringing it right now but if it strikes back then uh, I guess they made the wrong choice. They should have maybe exterminated it. I don't know. Here we go. Let's let's hop in this episode. See what happens with the Zillow Beast. The last episode was really good, by the way. I like the Zillow Beast episode. That was that was very different. Also, before we get started, I never really ask this, but subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you haven't subscribed, check if you're subscribed because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you. You can always change your mind later. Uh, leave a like on the video if you want. Here we go. Let's hop into it. Most dangerous beast is the beast within. Yeah, Chancellor Palpatine. There we go. I thought maybe he takes on the name Palpatine when later on, but I guess not. After seeing that not even a lightsaber could harm the beast, Chancellor Palpatine hopes to unlock the secret of its invulnerability. Mm-hmm. New armor for the Republic's clone. That would be cool. Hopefully they can do it. The most populous planet. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so they did they didn't just put it in space, they brought it to a cruiser. Oh, no 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 no. This is cool. Wonder if they've ever done this before. With a giant beast. Such power. With respect, Chancellor. He's hungry. Hungry for power. Any number of dangers. Bring it here to Coruscant is a mistake. Mm -hmm. oh, I assure you, I did not make this decision lightly, Master Jedi. Of course, Master Windu. It will be well treated, I assure you. They're gonna have to kill this episode. Oh no. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh, dude, this is reminding me of Kong vs. Godzilla. My reaction's on my channel to that movie, by the way. This is like exactly how they... But this is how they like, kept Mecha Godzilla. How they created him. Oh. That's enough. Yeah, don't hurt it. It's very difficult, not to mention painful. Yeah. Would it not be more efficient to simply kill the beast? Kill it? Are you sure? Chancellor, I must protest. Besides being the last of its kind, this creature may be intelligent. I find that hard to believe. It is, after all, just an animal. Oh, I know is what he's saying. Oh my gosh. I'd rather them just keep it alive and use it as a like a bioweapon in war. Drop it onto a planet with a bunch of droids and stuff. Mm -mm. We shall replace you with someone who can. Wow, you're really we're we're starting to see his dark side. We haven't gotten a lot of palpatine so far. This is the first time we we're seeing him go dark. Except for of course like when he's popping up in the holograms. Stealing force sensitive children and all that. Aren't a discussion? I didn't it does. Whoa, look at that dude back there. Look at his neck. I'll speak to the Chancellor. Oh my gosh. I still don't like this. Going, ooh. That'd be so uncomfortable having your neck at a 90 degree angle. Just. Don't you have more pressing issues that require your attention today? No. No, Mr. Speaker. I do not. I sympathize, my dear. Truly, I do. No, you don't. This, a democracy is only as strong as the people who comprise it. At present, the people I am charged with protecting are dying faster than I can count. Is it not worth the life of one savage beast to give our brave troops the advantage they need to win this war? Your troops are clones. You can make more of them. You can't make more of these Zillow beasts, though. But the clones are kind of human. They're pretty human. 
see where they're both coming from, but you are they can literally just study the beast. They don't have to kill it. Anyway. Yours, but you so I'm mostly on Padme's side. Some good points. To proceed? I wish I saw an alternative. However, <laughs> Why? Sadly, I must ask you to proceed with your assignment. There is an alternative. Oh, rip. They designed those droids just to like spray gas. Maybe they like fly around and car wash ships and stuff. <laughs> uh oh, that's just gonna make it angry. Yeah. I wonder if it's gonna be like King Kong where it has like a affection towards one person. Probably won't be Dr. Ball since she just made a poison gas. Maybe Padme, maybe Anakin, I don't know. It is gonna break out on the most populated planet. Hey, what good are these rifles gonna be? Ah, shut up, Cosmos. <laughs> it's just true. Cosmos, run. Oh, uh, yeah. Rip. Honestly, deserved. I know it's not gonna kill Palpatine or hurt him in any way, but it needs to. It's gotta teach him a lesson. <laughs> are we gonna see it in the background or something? Oh, the alarm. Oh, dude, this is so cool. It's just ravaging the city, the planet. <laughs> oh, that would be so scary. Dude, this is sick. Yeah, when you watch like the movies and stuff. Oh, rip. Oh, oh dude, this is sad. Yeah. The Chancellor sounds like Dr. Green, is that his name? From from Half-Life? I don't know why, he sounds like him. And him appearing on that board just makes it even more. Either Do Dr. Breen or the, the scientist one. Doctor, I don't even know his name. I mean, the Dugs said they conquer whole civilizations, right? They are very strong. Coming this way. Good. <laughs> Hopefully it takes uh the Chancellor. Oh, it's fast too. Oh my gosh, she's got hops. Levels. Yeah, these episodes are these two episodes have been so different. Like even the animation of the Zilla Beast alone. Oh, that's cool. Yes. We are going now. <laughs> that's cool. It just looks really good. Who knew C3PO and R2D2 had to deal with this? When you watch the prequels and stuff, you never know like any of this happened. That's kind of crazy. I wish we had never brought the beast here. Yeah, that would have that was the original idea to not bring it here. Oh no. If something is following us. This should be a uh Oh my gosh. This should be a Star Tours ride at Disneyland. You have to fly through Coruscant and the Zillow Beast is chasing you and it grabs you, holds you up to it. Dude, that would be so cool. Not like all cartoony though, they make it all live action. Sacrifice the Chancellor. Push him out. They want him. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the general's up to something. What is Skywalker doing? Appears to be one of Anakin's improvised plans. How can it be a plan if it's improvised? Not to worry. Just catch them when they fall. <laughs> but they always work. Right? Anakin's plans always work. Plans. Oh. Hey, this girl again. I want to see more of her. Nice. Anakin fully entrusted. Hoped that they would be down there. I don't know if he saw them down there. Oh, dude, Yoda and this girl on it. I, I need to remember her name. Her name's Ayla. It's like Sakura, right? Okay. I went back in my notes. I think that's this person. Oh, rip. If lightsabers don't penetrate it, I don't know what this is going to do. Maybe unless you hit its eyes. Oh, look at this. I don't know why it's so smooth. They really like them. Did a lot for these two episodes. To animate this thing. Oh, nice. They can do this again. Sleepy time. Sir, we have to get you out of here. Oh. Yeah, it just wants him. Get over there. What is R2 going to do? Can't carry both of us. You 
closer. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna fly away with him? What? I've never seen that happen. Oh wow, that's that is funny. Oh. Everyone catches a giant ship, but they don't catch c 3 Ah, uh, it's all right in its mouth. Rip. This is cool. So much inspiration from Godzilla kaiju movies. Oh, nice. Like a stop smoke. I didn't know you could do that with, with force. Actually, we kind of saw that. I saw that in Mandalorian. Wasn't Ahsoka, like, bringing in fog and stuff to hide herself? I think she was doing that, but maybe not. Little beast. It's been fun. Hopefully your scales aren't ruined. They can literally airbend gases. They could just if those that if those gases missed, they could just bend it, launch it right back into the Zilla Beast. That's kinda that's kinda neat. It's dead. So many arms, dude. That was cool. I enjoyed these two episodes. What are they gonna get out of it though? Zilla Beast paid with its life for our mistakes. I will make certain that uh, not your mistakes. Palpatine's mistakes. What is this? You want me to clone the beast? Oh. I was going to say something like, but I thought they could only make clone humans. I didn't think they could, they would be able to clone it. Earlier when I was talking about uh, how there's only one Zill beast but so many clones, I thought in my head like Unless they can clone it, but there's no way because you can only clone humans, but I guess not. You can clone anything. That's crazy. Why? Why is it? He just wants wants to clone its scales. If he wanted, he could just clone its scales or clone two of them, make them constantly keep having more and more Zillow Beasts so that they could just harvest their scales or whatever. But... No, he just wants to full-on clone. Full Zillow Beasts. What? Oh my gosh, okay. He's got some, some plan of his own. Um, is he going to use them for warfare? Use them just to harvest their scales and then kill them off? Hide them somewhere secretive? Mm, he's not letting anyone know about his plan. What the heck, dude? Yeah, so he's already thinking way down the dark side path. He's always been on the dark side, right? So he doesn't like fall into the dark side like Anakin does. He's just always dark, dark side. I don't know what to call them. I keep on wanting to say he's always dark sided, but then it just reminds me of the clip I keep putting in every time I say dark sided. He's always been a Sith, I guess. That's that's what I can say. Darth Sidious. Okay, well, that was a big twist at the end that they're going to be cloning it. Um... I enjoyed these two episodes a lot. I enjoyed just looking at the Zillow Beast. The design was really cool. It had like a hand in the back of it. It had like four other hands. Giant, actually giant creature. I never knew it would like break out and run across Coruscant and kill thousands of people or hundreds of people. We saw, oh my gosh. Yeah, it destroyed the planet a little bit. They really made it like a Godzilla sized threat and stuff, which is cool. They had to make it different too. They couldn't just make it like a um, they've dealt with big beasts before, but like this one was lightsaber proof, so it was extra difficult. So that's really cool, and it might even play into like the entirety of the Clone Wars and the war between the Separatists and the Republic. Like this might be a actual game changer in technology advancement or whatever. Because there's not just infinite amounts of Beskar out there that can deflect lightsabers a little bit or is lightsaber proof or whatever. But with this, being able to clone its material um, and maybe use Zillow Beasts for war or do whatever, I don't know what he wants with them exactly, but that's kind of crazy. And he probably had this plan from the beginning too, because he wanted it dead. It's not like they accidentally killed it and now he wants to clone them. He wanted it dead from the beginning and he was probably planning on cloning it anyways. But yeah, anyways, can't wait to see what comes out of this, um, out of his cloning program with the Zilla Beast. And yeah, that's about it. That's about it for the episode. I liked seeing Ayla Sakura back. We barely saw her. She was probably in it for like 20 seconds or something, but she's really cool. Reminds me of Ahsoka, just grown up Ahsoka. Um, 
We saw a little bit of Yoda running around on the Zilla Beast, which was cool to see. And our first look at Palpatine's dark side, so lots to come in the Star Wars universe with, with him. I wonder if the Zilla Beast will return. Because they can't just leave us like that. They can't just say they're gonna start cloning it and then there's no Zilla Beast returning episode or Anakin and Obi-Wan and all of them finding out about the cloning facility with Zilla Beasts in it. So yeah. I think we'll see the Zilla Beast again in some way. Not that exact one, but it's clones, you know? So anyways, that's about it for the episode. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video. Share with your friends. Turn on notifications if you want. Uh, comment whatever you want down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,